Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last part of this discussion series on depreciation. Now I have mentioned that where an asset does not have a remaining life, you have an option to write it off, net off its scrap value, to either the p or the retail earnings. The only thing to remember here is, when you are taking it against your retail earnings, it should be net off deferred tax basis. So what's this whole thing about deferred tax? I have a very simple way of understanding deferred tax and I'll try you know, explaining this. Now the, there are basically two types of differences. One is your permanent differences and one is your timing differences. Now that's because you prepare your tax accounts differently from the way you prepare your accounts for Companies Act purposes, your books. Now for example, you might take a weighted deduction for scientific research expenditure, which is allowed under the Income Tax Act. Now this causes your income tax payout to be lesser because you have a weighted deduction. Now this is a permanent difference. It's never going to impact your income tax status at a future point in time because this is a concession that is given and it is complete. There are other types of differences which are your timing differences, which is a classic example is your depreciation. Now what happens in the case of depreciation, again let's see a small example. Now let's assume I buy a laptop for 600 rupees this year. My income tax allows me 60%, so I have a depreciation of 360. Whereas under the Companies Act, I decide to write it off over a 6 year period, so I have taken only 600 by 6, which is 100. Now there is a difference between 360 and 100, which is 260 on which I get a tax advantage. I don't need to pay 260 into, let's say my effective tax rate is 34%. So my tax payout is lesser to that extent, but over a period of time, the book depreciation will catch up with the income tax depreciation and in that year, I will have to make a higher tax payment. So in order to ensure that my effective tax rate is correctly positioned in my balance sheet, in this particular case, I will be creating a deferred tax liability. So my deferred tax liability over a period of time will start getting reduced as my book depreciation catches up with my year-on-year -year tax depreciation. The only thing to remember here is, if you are taking a write-off and you are taking the write-off to your retained earnings, that portion of the write-off, the tax part has to be adjusted against your deferred tax which you are carrying in your balance sheet and the remaining part gets adjusted against your retail earnings. Stay tuned for more, the act and its impact. Please mail should you have any questions. Please mail me on sripriya at spka.in. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for this hearing.